If you're like me, the thought of cherry picking your leads and following up with just the ones you like makes you cringe. While some leads will naturally be a better fit for your product or service, each one has the potential to bring money to your business. As a salesperson, your goal should be for no lead to get left behind. With Entreport, you can set up a lead routing system that divides all your incoming leads among your sales reps the way you'd like. This helps keep things fair for your sales team and ensures that no lead gets left in the dust. If you have a more experienced sales rep on your team, you can route more leads to them and fewer to your newer reps while they get their bearings. We all remember how tough it was to be a newbie on the job, right? I'll show you how to set up a lead router in Entreport. In this video, you'll decide what type of lead router you want to use, add your lead router and your sales team, and create a lead routing automation. To start, lead routers assign incoming leads to contact owners, aka those responsible for touching base with incoming leads. So, if you want to see which rep a lead is assigned to, you'll open up a contacts record and check out who the owner is. By default, when a contact enters your Entreport system, the account admin will be in the contact owner. By default, when contacts enter your Entreport system, the account admin will be the contact owner. And if you have multiple users or roles in your Entreport account, like sales reps, managers, or customer service reps, you can make those folks the contact owners for leads. With the lead router, you can assign tasks to contact owners, like setting up a sales call with the lead. Or you can send customer-facing emails that appear to be from the contact owner. You can learn more about these settings in our task video series. But for now, back to lead routing. You'll decide on a lead routing method to use, round robin or weighted random. Round robin lead routing evenly divides hot leads between team members in the order that they enter your system. This is good for sales teams that want to divide and conquer as quickly as possible. So, if you have three sales reps, Sam, Jose, and Kelsey, the first incoming lead will go to Sam, the second to Jose, and the third to Kelsey. Your fourth and fifth and sixth leads will go in that same order. Sam, Jose, and Kelsey over and over again. Weighted random lead routing distributes lead to each team member based on the percentage you decide in advance. There are a few different use cases for this type of lead router. If you have a sales rep who's just leaps and bounds ahead of the others in sales savviness and is a deal closer for most of your sales, you'll most likely give this rep a larger percentage of leads, but still give the other reps a share so they can close sales as well. You may also find this type of lead router useful when onboarding new team members. You might onboard them slowly by giving them a small portion of the leads and then increase the percentage they get over time. So say you have Sam and Jose, your veteran sales team reps with proven sales numbers, and let's say you're onboarding newcomer Kelsey as your third rep. You could split the leads 40, 40, 20 so that Kelsey is given half as many leads for the first few months. When she gets the hang of things, you might switch to lead routing to round robin style later. And when she starts really killing it down the road and brings in tons of new business, you can give her a raise, but that's up to you. Once you've decided between round robin and weighted random, you'll create your first lead router. To start, go to contacts, settings, and lead routing. Click add new lead router. Choose one of those two routing styles I just talked about. For this example, pick round robin. No matter which ones you choose, your next step will be to add your sales team to the router. Team members will need their own user seat to be added to a lead router. If you need help with adding new user seats or setting up roles and permissions, check out our orientation and setup videos. Now, give your lead router a name. You can always change it later, so don't get stuck on picking the perfect name. Click Save when you're done. One more note before I move on to the next step. You can add as many lead routers as you want and assign and reassign leads to routers anytime. So don't worry too much about creating the ultimate lead routing strategy right now. Now that you have your lead router set up, the last step is to simply start adding leads to it. Like Snowflake's, every business sales strategy is different, so you might approach this next step differently. I'll give you a quick rundown of possibilities so you can figure out your next move. Go to Automations. You'll want to edit any automations that involve incoming leads. Maybe you have a demo request process or a newsletter signup automation. For the sake of keeping things easy, simply create a new blank automation. Create a trigger for contact is created. 
Note that this trigger will apply to all new contacts. To make this apply to just your leads at a condition, use something like contact has tag or a field that identifies leads, but again, it'll depend on your setup. Under that trigger, insert in add to lead router element. Under the dropdown, select the router you just made and click done. Nice. Finally, add a go to element under the default trigger and drag the arrow so that it connects to your lead router step. This manages any contacts who are added to this automation map manually or through form settings, for example. And that's it for lead routing. Now you have a basic automation that takes all your incoming leads and assigns them to your reps however you see fit. The next thing to consider is where this element type belongs in your automations. Also, you'll want to follow up these lead router elements with tasks, like setting up a sales call with a client or sending a check-in email to a lead. For more information on how to do this, be sure to watch our task videos. If you watch our lead scoring lesson, I'll show you how to set up a system that lets you know who your hottest leads are so you can follow up with them right away. Mm -hmm.